Hello, 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 everybody. Today, we're going to do uh, a little work on this wig right here. Okay. And I am your beauty, talent, supreme. I am Paula Blue. Okay. And I'm going to be the one who's going to be working on this wig right here. Very good. Okay. And so, also, I'm going to be taking a photo shoot. I'm also be doing a makeup tutorial, whatever. This is my Diamond Queen crown for MAB. I'm also be taking a picture and doing a photo shoot um, later on. I'm going to be downloading it with a picture with my Beauty Tattoo Supreme. Also, crown. Um, put that right here. Also, this is my Diamond Queen. This is my Diamond Queen. Crown, okay, and this is what it looked like. I mean, are my beauty tattoo supreme crown for Miss American Beauties as well? Okay, I'm also gonna be doing a photo shoot with this crown as well. Okay, and this is my overall queen from Miss American Beauties. It's not the only crown I've ever worn from Miss American Beauties, but it's so one of them too. Okay, and I'm going to do a photo shoot with all three of these different crowns. But before we do that, before I before I style, okay, this wig right here, then I'm going to be doing makeup and everything else too. Also, this is my um, this is my Miss uh, Miss American Beauties, Miss American Beauties. As you can see, this is my Miss American Beauties winter sash for participating in the online virtual pageant for 2020 in December for Christmas. This is another a sash. This is not the only this is the only sash I want for Miss American Beauty. I got like 10, 20 of these, but this is the one I did for 2020 for Christmas. Miss American Beauty's winner. You see it? Miss American, Miss America Beauties, Miss American Beauties, same thing. Miss American Beauties. Okay. Because it's, it's in North America. Very good. So this sash and these are another some more medals that I have as well that I won. More, you can tell they metal. They're not plastic because plastic don't make that sound. Okay, these are real metal, just like they win in the Olympics. Okay, these are my gold medals. I won for competing and doing talent and dance and choreography for tap dance and jazz and modern dance and all that. These are the crowns. I'm a divisional supreme and a beauty time supreme winner. I'm in my Supergirl costume on my Supergirl t-shirt. You see the S-Shield Supreme. Thank you. Okay. So, my beauty, beauty talent Supreme, today we're going to do something really fun. What we're going to do is we're going to take this wig right here. Okay. We're going to take this wig right here, and we are going to brush and comb and style this wig. Okay? I'm Paula Duke right here. No hair, no wig, no weave, no none of that stuff. Okay? Sometimes I like to see my, my fans to get a chance to see what I look like without having all that makeup and hair and all that stuff off. Okay? Because I know sometimes people get confused. Okay? And I'm well aware that many people do ask that question. What ethnicity is Paul Abdo? You see my skin tone? Figure it out. Okay, very good. Now, well, we, well, I got my brush. Okay. And I got some styling tools over here. Okie dokie. Very good. We're going to add some color in the bang area up here with Perrier. Glitter hair spray. P U R E E R. Career. Almost, almost like career. 
Okay, and this color is in, I believe it's in red. Red. That's the color we're using. Okay, we're going to add a little tiny bit of spray and color into this wig that's on the toys you right here. Okay, very good. Also, we're going to have finishes spray. It's always good to have a finisher spray. Whatever finisher spray that you got is good. Revlon, I'm using Revlon finisher sheen. Instant shy spray. Next thing, we got another we got another from Perrier. Mousse. Okay, we're going to put some mousse in there in order to get it going. Just a mousse in super hold. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm putting it there. Okay, that's mousse. M-O-O-U-S-S-E. And that's what I'm using in order to be able to get the wig together. Okay. And also, some got to, be, got to be glue free spray. In order to be able to hold what style I'm going to put into the wig. And, and I'm quite sure that many people out there is familiar with Swatchoff. Got to be glue free spray. Okay, so all we're going to be doing today is brushing and styling this wig and doing a little color in her and just fixing it. Okay, so we see the color from the front and we see the color from the back. Okay, this is a very short wig. Okay, and I added a little extra highlights in her. She got a little bit of color going through her and she have a little bit of highlights in this wig. She is a little, she's kind of short. Okay, and for this photo shoot, we're going to use a wig that's a little bit shorter and stuff and everything. I added the little highlights into her to give her a little extra color and stuff in this darker wig. But it's more of a brunette wig with a, little, with a few highlights in it, which is perfectly all right. Okay, so we're going to start the brushing and combing, and we're going to do a little work with this wig, okay? Um, so let's go. Very good. And also, we're going to be putting the crown on after we get finished. Very good. So, very good. So, let's do this. Well, first, first thing I want to do is start to brush my wig out. Okay. And getting the wig brushing started going on. Mainly with my big brush so that I can be able to get the wig to look the way I want. Now, the the, color, the look that I'm going for is more of a flip. And so what I want to do with my wig is start to brush it so it can be able to do a flip and a curl going on with this wig. Okay? And so what I want to do Okay, simply to get this going is to start to take take the hair and start to brush the hair in the direction I want to go. So I'm going to take all of this hair and I'm just going to take a handful of it and start brushing this wig going. You see, I'm brushing it over my hand, going over in order to get it to start to flip. Okay, this this is a quick trick, okay, to be able to do it, especially when you don't have a lot of curling irons and things like that, or you don't, you, you don't want to be bothered with a lot of curling irons. Okay, now, once, once you do that, what I want to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this Perrier mousse and I'm going to shake it up. I'll remember, every time you use a mousse, if you want it to become foam, you have to shake this. A lot of people don't know that. They just start spraying it in the hand and don't know that you got to um, shake up the foam. Please shake the foam up. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Shake it up. Now we got foam in my hands. There we go. Okay. Now, now I got the foam in my hand. I'm going to rub this foam. Okay. And I'm going to kind of like brush and take the foam through the hair. Okay. Now... Why I'm doing this is not to get the hair smoother and get it straighter or to make it fuller because it's already smooth. It's already straight. What my 
go, okay, for this is, is to try to do the best that I can to kind of soften it and make it uh, just a little bit more shiny. But that's about it, okay? You know, we don't need a lot of this. Get another little small handful of this. I mean, remember, it's a trigger thing here, a button. So you kind of have to kind of like that. And you get a little tiny bit of that and work it into your hair. Okay? Work it into your weave. Okay? Work it in there. Hello? And what all this is going to do is give you some control over your little weave. Okay? That's all it's going to do. It's going to give you some true control. Okay. Now just start brushing back through. Brush back through. Brush back through. Brush back through. Okay. And you want to start to just kind of brushing that wig back. Brushing. Brush. Brush. Brush that wig back. Brush that wig back. Brush that wig back. Now when you brush it back, then you start to push. Start to push. Okay. Brush. Brush the wig back. Brush. This is a shorter wig. Okay. With wigs that are real short, you have to sometimes kind of give them a little set of there. Okay. Oh, you feel me? Because, I mean, I know everybody likes the long, glamorous wigs. Okay. And, and those are pretty too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But all hair lifts, you have to remember, all hair lifts can still be beautiful. If you style that right. Okay. Okay. But everybody want to have all this super luxurious hair. This butt limb. Without realizing that you can have a beautiful head of hair. Any limb. Hair that's healthy can be hair that's healthy. No matter what limb it is. Okay. Healthy hair is healthy hair. Okay. So I'm brushing this back. Okay. And. You see me brushing the wig back. And the reason why I brush the wig back is to be able to help it with its little form here. Okay? It's very important to being able to get hair to kind of start to take into shape. Okay? It's very important. Very important to getting the hair to take into shape. Okay, very important. Okay, so while I'm on this side of the wig now, okay, if you don't have a big brush like this, then take another brush like this, a smaller brush, and try to start taking that hair and taming it and taking it backwards, kind of flip that hair backwards. Okay, because while you're doing that, you're going to start to push. Okay, start to push in the hair down into a position. Okay, and you'll notice that the hair will start to swoop in into the position that you want it to swoop into. Now, when once that happened, okay, what you want to do is you want to shake up the other little low spray like you got to be glue. Now, I want you to take in five. Just spray. Pow. A little bit of spray on there. Just a little. Okay. Then, another area that you want to get real good, okay, is the top or the front part of the wig. Get a, a little bit better there. Okay. There. Okay. Because what you want to do is you want to try to start to sit up your hair. Now, if you want to have the have a part in this on the side or a part on on uh, uh, in the middle or part down the other side, then what you have to do is you have to take that hair, okay, and you have to find where you want your part to be. Okay, now once you find where you want the part to be, some people want it in the middle, some people want it far, far to the left, some want it far to the right. Okay, now what, what my advice is, is that if you're going to take, if you're going to flip your hair and you're going to do that and you don't have 
let's say a, a you don't have a curling iron to curl it and flip it okay are you not going to use a curling iron to curl it and flip it then when you part your hair okay make sure that you see what i'm saying you are doing the best that you can to get a nice swoop going on there because you don't necessarily all the time people think every time they do something with this silky bed fire hair they got to get a, a high curler and a curling iron with human hair that may be true with synthetic hair it's not a good idea okay because synthetic hair you can burn it okay and you can destroy your weight so if that is not your goal okay then avoid putting a lot of heat and stuff into your hair when you take it you brush it out okay give it its chance you see what i'm saying to hold the style that you want if you want it to be bigger then that requires that you have to take it and you have to wrap it. I'll show you how to do that before with other weeds like I did with the Elvira red. But if you want your hair to have a smooth effect and you want it to you want that bang to swoop over, because I'm turning the wig around and you want that, that bang to swoop over, then you have to do a little work to guide it. Okay, to do that. Okay, you have to be extremely careful with this kind of hair. Okay, remember that this type of hair is not human hair. Okay, and so it doesn't mean that you can't take and you can't, uh, you know, take and you, 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 you can't put some heat on it, but you don't want to get carried away with that. Okay, because then after that, you're going to start to destroy your hair and destroy your waves. Okay, and that's not what you want. Okay, so get the um, back in the area and just try to spray and get some spray. I'm just going to be good spray on this hair. Okay, and we're going to continue. Okay, uh, doing and styling this hair. Okay, now this wig is um made and I I I um adjusted it for a very small head, so you know, because my head is small, very good. Okay, and so I'm going to continue to keep brushing the hair in the front, kind of taking it backwards, okay. And while I'm doing that. Okay, I'm guiding it with my fingers or with my hands. And I'm doing the best that I can to keep from putting a lot of heat in this hair. Okay, this is a, a little bit of a harder way to do it. Most people just want to just put a lot of heat, but that will damage your extension if you continue to keep doing it. Over and over and over. So, in order to get your hair to hold that position, and you want it to flip a little bit, okay, without having to use a lot of chemicals and a lot of heat, then you're going to need to use, okay, holding spray more so. Okay, the holding spray helps this type of hair hold its shape better okay it can do it also for uh you said i'm saying other textures as well okay but if you want it to hold on to that flip okay then you have to spray it so every so often okay that's what you have to do and this gives the hair that little flip or that little bounce when you want the hair to flip over. Okay. And so you just keep on, just like I'm brushing it right now. And I'm moving my wig 
uh, staying around here so that you can get a kind of better idea. I'm, try, I'm trying to move it around here so you can get a better idea of what's happening with the hair. Okay, so that you don't have to keep on putting heat, okay, in the hair and keep up and then destroy your extension. Okay, because that's really, 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 really gonna mess it up faster. Okay, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, if you have a smaller brush, then use that smaller brush. Okay, for the top, okay, still keep pulling it back, brushing it back, brushing it back, brushing it back like that. And this, it, 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 this is kind of like a way that you can take silky hair, just like Hispanic girl's hair and white girl's hair, and kind of put a little flippy bag in there. Okay, we see a lot of people do that, and we wonder, how did that person do that to their hair? Okay, and you and you kind of like guide it back, back. So, okay, and as you see, it will start to take form, and it will start to do a little flippy thing going on with it. Okay, this is the whole goal. Okay, to getting it to do that. If you want to part on the side or whatever. So you know, once you get the hair. Kind of like the way that you want it. Okay. Then what you want to do is kind of rise it up. You know. Kind of push it into place. And your whole goal is to lift. Is to lift this area here. You want to kind of. Kind of give it a little bit of height. Just lift it up just like that and let it fall okay let it fall the reason why some people's weaving and extension looks so good is because of the way that they brushed it okay they brushed it a certain type of way and it had and, and it gives it a more realistic way that it falls on their head. So when they put the wig on, after they have guided it and got it to, you you do have to style it. Okay? That's, that's very important. You do have to style your wig. Many people believe that they don't have to do that. They can just throw it on their head around the door and then expect it to have a realistic look. You know? You see what I'm saying? To their their their, their wig. But it don't go like that. When you go to a store and you see a beautiful wig on the stand, those people have styled that wig, okay? And they have did some work with it in order to look, make it, make you, make you want to buy it, okay? You see what I'm saying? And so when you say, oh, this wig is beautiful. Um, well, how much is this wig? Well, what, what, is, I like this style. Well, how much does this cost? Remember that the, um, people that was in the store, Okay, they 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 worked them with that hair. Okay, they work with it to give it the beautiful style that you see. They work with it. Okay, they they had to work with the hair so it can look beautiful enough to make you want to buy the hair. Okay, they didn't just take and just throw it on a wig stand and say here buy a wig. It didn't work like that. Okay. You feel me? You got to guide this hair. You got to work with this hair. Okay? You see what I'm saying? And so, this is how you get certain little styles in the hair. And remember, in order to get it to look the way you want, keep spraying. Okay? Just keep spraying toward the front here. And the reason why you want to do that, because you want the hair to kind of harden up here. So it can be able to do, get a lift going on with it. That's very important to getting your hair to look a certain way. Okay. You can make your extension 
and make your is your weeds and, and and lace fronts and all laces and everything and falls look realer by taking a little work, okay, and doing a little work work with it. This is how they can look re look more nicer, okay, because you took some time out to be able to style the hair. Okay, so make sure that you are practicing these skills. Okay, when you are doing your hair. Okay, as a, a as as a beauty queen. Okay, I wear my beauty tennis supreme sash here. Okay, and you see it with your own eyes. Okay, that I took this ordinary, regular synthetic wig and just. Gave it a little bit of pizzazz by just brushing it and guiding it and working with it and getting it to sit and to work the way I wanted it to work. Okay? That's what I did. That's all I did. Okay? You feel me? And then I got it to hang, uh, to look the way I wanted it to look. Okay? Not the store. Me. Okay, I fixed it and got to looking like I want it. Okay, so let that be a lesson that you can part it. You can switch the parties around. You can guide it. Okay, and you can also, like I said, if you want to take and do a little lifting at the top of the wing, you can do a little lifting at the top too. Okay, by lifting it and guiding it a little tiny bit. Okay, that's another way to get some body and some volume in the hair. As I said before, you can lift it, okay, a little tiny bit. Or you can just take your hand and kind of like just push it, just kind of push it like that. And you can fill it out and make it look a little, just a little tiny bit fuller in the back. I mean, if that's what you want and you want the hair to look a little bit filler, you kind of like pull it apart a little bit, just kind of. Push it and kind of guide it a little bit and kind of fluff it. Okay, so work, let that be something that be a, a project that you work on and um stop when it comes to styling your wigs, weave and falls and stuff. Okay, work work on that. Allow that to be something that you want to guide and do you want to work with your hair and your weave okay you feel what i'm saying you can do what you do they do the same thing with synthetic hair you can do it with human hair okay you just have to put a little bit more work into it okay just that that's it and that's 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 how you get a beautiful style that's how you do it very easy Always remember that, okay? That these is just little trade secrets, okay? That Pablo taught you. But I mean, you, you can learn these secrets. It, it, all, all girls who wear wigs and wear extensions and weave in they on their head or in their hair do this. Okay? They all do this. If they want they style to look beautiful, they do. Okay, they may tell you that they don't, but don't get it twisted. They do. Okay, they work like religiously on trying to make sure that their hair is looking good. Okay, so 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 make sure that you know you putting some time and patience into your hair. Okay, don't just think it, it's just gonna all of a sudden fall in your lap and it's gonna start looking good on its own by itself. Oh, oh, well, I got to go to the beautician. I got to get my weave done over. I got to do this. I got to do that. And, you know, thinking, oh, well, it's easy to manage your hair because you got to weave. It, it ain't easy to imagine managing hair, period. Whether you have a weave in your hair that somebody else fixed the style and did the work or whether if you did the work, it still ain't going to be easy to manage and take care of hair. You have to have patience with hair, okay, to get it to look. The way you want to look. So I hope that that helps someone. Okay. I'm not saying I did the most perfect job. But it looked better than what it looked before. Okay. So we did. I parted on the side. Parted on the side. 
kind of flippy do with this hair or with this wig with what we had. We didn't do a lot of scissors. We didn't do a lot of cutting. And I changed the part from a middle part to a front part or a side part. Okay. Now we're going to do something very interesting. I'm going to shake this up. Okay. I'm shaking up this red. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is spray a little red at the top of the hair. Just to get a little bit of a red hue right in the front. Okay? Right there. So, for the ones who always want to, I'm sorry, do this. Okay? Knowing that all you need to do in order to be able to get a color in there that you want to get in there, just take the color, spray it, and then kind of like hit it. Frost it. I thought it's a frosting technique. Okay. Kind of hit it like that. And when you do, this is what's going to happen to the hair. Okay. That's for the ones who want to get that going for their hair. Shake it up. And see how you swoop. All right. Take the take front sprout. Very good. Okay, and that's how you get that frost going on the front. Okay, and the little area you want you want the bangs to be or something like that. If you want to make the hair a little lighter in the front, you got to spit a little blast through there and kind of blast it, blast it through. Okay, wherever you want that color to kind of register in the hair. Okay, you see what I'm saying? And so. Work, 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 work on improving your own thing that you're trying to do. You see what I'm saying? Work on that. You, you feel me? If you don't want to use a lot of dye and stuff, there are other ways to get color, uh, bursts of color into the hair without taking and putting a lot of extra chemical in the hair. That it, it can be done. It is real easy. Okay. And then I'm taking a I'm taking my brush and I'm kind of brushing it a little bit and kind of guiding it through there and brushing it through there a little bit better. Okay. Just a little bit. But I waited until notice I waited until after I did the styling. Okay. And so it's just a little hit of red this there. Okay, and I decided that I want to do that special for my YouTube viewers and subscribers. But um, that's a, a very, very easy thing to do if you just want to add a little color and stuff in, 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 and stuff into your hair. You know, maybe you want to have a blast of red in the front or something like that. And so you can do that. Okay, so please work on that. Oh, good great. Okay, there we go. All right. Work, 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 work on striving to, you know, do something with your own hair. Okay? And and, and not thinking that it, it's, 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 it's all up to the beautician in order to make you look beautiful. But you, but you can make your own self look beautiful too. Okay? Because beauty takes work. Okay? Never forget that. Okay, Pop Dude, ain't no sense to the rule. She have to work to make herself look pretty too. Okay? And she ain't, you ain't just rolling out the bed and you got perfect hair and makeup. It don't work like that. Okay? You gotta work. Woo! Oh, Jesus. Okay, very good. So. Okay, now, you got the spray. You know, so I sprayed a lot of hairspray on this. Because I want this hair, hair to hold. Okay? Very good. So, um, remember, the hair color that I use is Perrier Color. Color hair glitter. Okay? And notice, I didn't put it in the back. All I did was got the front. Okay? That's it. I sprayed the front and the front only. That's all I sprayed. And it'll dry on its own 
by itself. Okay, very good. All right. Now, once you get finished doing that, to see how it's going to look before you put it on your head, put your tiara. Put it down on the wig. Okay? Put it, on your, put it down on the wig. Let me get up close up here so you can get a real good close up shot on this. I want to get a real good shot. Okay? Real good. The best one, I want to get a really good one. Okay, so you can get a good close up on this. Okay, of uh, what this look like. Okay, you want to? I'm moving it over here just a little a tiny bit. I want to move this. Okay, now, very good. Now that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so pay attention to. What you did with a hairstyle and then put you a tiara on there, okay, and see how that tiara is going to sit and see how that tiara is going to look. Before you try to take pictures and stuff like that, look look at what's going to happen with it first, okay? Don't just take it and start putting, just put it on there at the last minute. Then you're like, oh, I don't like it. Look at it first and do it like that, okay? So... I'm Paul Abdul. I'm your beauty, I'm your beauty talent supreme for Miss American Beauties, and a grand your grand talent supreme for Miss Amazing Stars, and some other grand talent supremes for other patterns like West Coast Fashion Faces, Photogenic Supreme, stuff like that. Okay, but I gave you an idea of how this is gonna work. Okay, so pay attention and stuff. And if you do want to do something like that. Like even for a beauty page or something, and you want to add a little color, do it on your wig stand. Okay. You see a little hint of red going through there? But do it on your wig stand first. On whatever color. You can use black hair, brown hair, red hair, whatever. But do it on your wig stand first. <laughs> because you don't want to spray that stuff and then get it all over your clothes. And you see here on, 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 on Latoya D, look at this. It's little red prints, okay, all over her face. It's red all over there, even on the foil there. It's, 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 it's red everywhere, okay? So you don't want to do that and then spray and then wind up getting that on your gown, okay, and your evening gowns and your clothes and your outfit. This is why a lot of people style their wig on their wig stand first so that... That, that that they won't get all that stuff all over their um clothes okay so welcome to my channel thank you for um subscribing to my channel okay and for the ones who did i'm paul abdul i got this red stuff all over my hand you see that it's red everywhere you see that you don't want to get that stuff all over your gowns and your costumes and stuff okay so you know give it a time let it dry let it dry Okay, before you start doing all this stuff, you know, to your hair. Okay, before you start doing that, make sure you like your hair, you done done that and did everything before. Is it all right? Do it, do it before. This is the beginning. Okay, we're going to turn it around. You see that final side view? That's what I told you with the um, crown on. Okay. Then we're going to get a chance. This is, the crown is blinging now. It's kind of let off this light, this huge thing on there. Okay. Yeah, that's the metal. Okay, there we go. And then that's your back. Okay. Now, then, now that's the back. We're doing it slowly. And it looks a whole lot more uniform and a whole lot more neat. Okay. Who's still turning? Never mind if you get a little flare, a little glare going off there because that just coming off the metal. Okay, very good. And we're gonna part it. We're going again. We're gonna turn it again. Okay, and we got a little part going on the side. Okay, and that's what it looks like on the side. Okay, so we swung that 
bang around to the side and everything to give her her little look. Okay? And all the red stuff, you know, it got all of her face. Okay? But good. None of that stuff, none of that stuff is on you. Okay? And don't and, and don't do this. Don't start wiping on your clothes. Don't just don't use that. Get you a towel. Okay? And wipe your hands off and get you some alcohol and some other stuff and clean your hands and stuff and get the red stuff off. Okay? All right. For everybody who enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be doing a makeup tutorial and download that as well, as well as some of the other different things uh, that I'm going to wear uh, for the photo shoot and the makeup and everything. So, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my channel for everybody who did it. I'm Paula Abdul. And I want to say thank you. God bless you. Love, peace, soul, and prosperity in 2021. Thank you for subscribing. God bless you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my new channel. You're welcome. Thank you.